Hey, this is Bruce Cook, and uh, this video, I'm going to be showing a couple uh, new cool things that I'm uh, trying out um, for feeding my plants. So, since uh, all but three of my uh, plants that are uh, uh, larger in size have grown roots out the uh, uh, bottom of the top cups, um, I now am going to be uh, beginning to feed these things, and that can be very time-consuming. So there was a couple things that I'm trying out. Um, that's uh, it's an idea. Um, you probably noticed I got straw sticking out <clears throat> the top of these cups. So um, I originally got the idea to do the uh, double cup method from Kangstar. Um, a lot of the uh, tips and advice that um, that I use when I started growing um, that actually worked for me uh, came from him. And uh, one of them was. Uh, one of his videos showing uh, his five gallon Home Depot buckets and uh, he was using PVC pipe and he ran uh, these uh, PVC pipes down the uh, inside of the bucket so it would uh, um, feed straight into the bottom of the uh, like the second bucket because he was doing like the double cup method in that video um, using the, uh, the full size uh, five gallon buckets so I thought to try it with this since, uh, like I said, this is really time consuming. And also to get around uh, um, the fact that, you know, these uh, cups aren't going to have a whole lot of space when you stack them on top of each other, you know, for the uh, roots to grow. I mean, these, these little cups, you would get about that much, uh, about that much space. But my idea was to use uh, rubber bands. So as you can see, uh, I have rubber bands um, placed uh, underneath the top uh the rim of the top cup right here so that will stop the uh, top cup from uh, sinking all the way in and as the plant will need more room I just simply move that rubber band down so uh, but anyways so the way I have been feeding my plants uh, you know water before um, I started using plant food yesterday um, I have been using I know this is gonna look, sound funny but I use a booger sucker um, I specifically bought this so when I go to feed the plants you know, after I would uh, spray neem oil, uh, cold press neem oil on the leaves to uh, deter uh, aphids, I don't have to worry about water getting all over the place, you know, washing off the uh, neem oil uh, that's on the leaves so I could uh, be more precise, you know, where I'm uh, feeding it. But now, since uh, all my plants uh, have lots of roots growing out the bottoms of the uh, top cups, um, I am not going to be... Uh, soaking the soil with uh, liquid plant food instead uh, we'd be uh, feeding the plant from uh, underneath like uh, this is just an example so you see this one uh, is uh, now dry it has uh, already eaten up all the food that I gave it yesterday but this is uh, you can see what my idea is here you got the uh, straw running the uh, entire length you could probably I don't know if you're gonna be able to see through that but yep you can see it runs all the way through the bottom. So what I do is I uh, simply, if I can do this without shutting the camera off accidentally, so I'll suck up a little bit of plant food. So I really don't need to feed these plants again until maybe tomorrow, but I do that and then I just simply squirt a little bit in here. And you'll probably notice, I'm gonna set this down here. That the liquid goes down into the bottom of the cup and just makes it that much easier and the, fit, the plant can be uh, fed properly because uh, you don't want to be soaking your uh, the soil itself um, with the uh, um, the plant food because if you do that it will actually hinder the plants growth um, you want those roots to continue to grow down there and if you're feeding them uh, through the soil up top here then the plants uh, it's going to tell the plant it doesn't need to continue to grow as fast. So that was some advice I got from uh, some growers uh, a while back. And uh, I found that to obviously be true. So, <clears throat> But anyways, I'm doing that. And uh, it's just going to make uh, things so much easier. So then I can just go from one plant to the next. Um, I got every one of these strawed up. Uh, it actually took me a couple days and a lot of patience to do this. Between uh, rubber banding all of these uh cups and then uh, doing this with the straw um so i do have uh, some straws left that will be for 
these remaining uh, small baby plants and they are also coming along very well. So I haven't had, uh, I've only had one plant, um, one seedling die so far of all of the uh, uh, seeds that grew into plants that's only been one. And, uh, but that's doing pretty good because uh, I'm already a month and a half into this. Uh, well, close to two months into this. And by this time, you know, uh, the last three seasons I grew, I would have quite a few more that would have died. But I, as I've said in my other videos, I have my plants in much better conditions this time around. So, uh, so everything's doing really good. But uh, anyways, I wanted to show off uh, this cool uh, couple ideas I had to help feed my plants and, uh, and also give these uh, uh, roots room to grow in the bottoms of the cups. I actually did the rubber band thing. Uh, I think I might have done it last year or the year before, um, but that's what we're going to do again. That uh, worked out really well for me before. So, But anyways, uh, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.